e-learning gate. It opens the cognitive learning paths with the help of digital resources. Applications of electrolysis. In the learning outcomes we have electroplating, electrorefining of metals, hydrogen oxygen fuel cell. What is electroplating? Electroplating is the process of coating a metal object with a thin layer of another metal using electrolysis. Purpose, it is used to enhance the appearance, corrosion resistance, and durability of metal objects. Let us see how to set up apparatus for electroplating. Anode the metal that will coat the object. Cathode, the object to be plated. Electrolyte, a solution containing metal ions of the plating metal. Let us see the reactions in electroplating. Reaction at cathode, at cathode reduction takes place. Copper ions in the solution, having plus two charge will be attracted by cathode. At cathode these ions gain electrons and get reduced to copper metal. Now, let us see what is going on at anode. At anode. Oxidation, takes place. Anode. Is made up of, copper. Atoms. These atoms lose electrons and become, copper ions. These copper ions come to the solution. So the concentration of copper ions remains same in the solution. Here you can see some applications of electroplating. Here is a list of some advantages and disadvantages of electroplating. Now we are going to know about electrorefining. Electrorefining is the process of purifying metals by using electrolysis. It is primarily used to remove impurities from metals. It is essential for obtaining high purity metals used in various industries such as electronics and manufacturing. Here is how to set up the apparatus for electrorefining. The impure metal must be made as anode and pure metal must be made as cathode. The electrolyte contains same metal ions. In the diagram you can see that copper atom, at anode, on oxidation changes into copper ions these ions come into the solution. These copper ions go to the cathode which is 100% pure copper. These ions on reduction their deposit as copper metal. Here are reactions. These reactions are same as in the electroplating. Here are some of the applications of electrorefining. Let's explore the advantages and disadvantages of electrorefining to better understand its significance and impact. Hydrogen oxygen fuel cell. In this cell hydrogen undergoes combustion and produces energy as well as water. So, water is the only byproduct which is produced here. Here no carbon dioxide produces which is produced by combustion of fossils fuels. Here's how it works. In this cell, hydrogen gas is used as the fuel. The hydrogen gas enters the cell at the anode, where each hydrogen molecule splits into hydrogen ions and electrons. These electrons then flow through the external circuit, generating electricity. At the cathode, Oxygen gas enters and gains the electrons released by the hydrogen gas. Here, hydrogen ions, oxygen gas, and electrons combine to form water. See the advantages and disadvantages of this cell. 